And off we head. Man, that is a big old patch of shroud. Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining me in Enshrouded, where last time we got our butts kicked by the Sickle Scythe down in the Elixir Well. This time, we are probably this time definitely on the last episode, because we do have, what, one, two, three, four quest markers, a Sun Temple, oh, is that five? I think that's five. Oh, six. All right, maybe this is not the last episode. Maybe we'll have to do another one. It all depends how long these take. And then we've got um, all of the, I think all of the uh, sites are found, or yeah, all the ones I've found are done. The uh, elixir wells. So I suppose we should start with these guys. I think that's the highest up one. And yeah, that looks like, but before that, yeah, we got 23 points to spend over here. So let's go ahead and do that, because maybe... Yeah, increase conscious... Yeah, more hit points. Thank you. <laughs> that will be helpful. As we saw last time, tower when there are three or more enemies within 20 meters, you suffer 10% less physical damage. Warden, when there are three or more enemies within 20 meters, you suffer 50% less magical damage. And then more constitution, which would be good. Or swift blades, which we had before, I think. So, yeah, let's do that one. Because attacking faster is always good. More constitution is always good. And that we are more of a warrior than a tank. And this is all... Yeah, dealing critical damage with two-handed yeah, two weapons. And break a block with melee attack. The target will suffer 100% more melee damage. And I would like to get more constitution is the thing. What is this? Purification. After defeating a shroud infested... Oh, melee weapon. Oh, yeah. Five seconds. That's like nothing, though. So instead, is there anything... Um, right by attack, Buka within 50 meters will attack the enemy. Dexterity. Endurance. You'll gain one endurance for every two levels of the flame. That's probably a good thing to have, right? Yeah, let's do that. It sounds good. That's more dexterity. I don't really care about that. Ooh. Oh, orbs. Yeah, we don't have the orbs. Not without our good friend, Schnizelmo. Yeah, I'll take some more endurance. Sure. Always good. More strength increases melee damage. Yeah, we'll take some easy strength. What's this one? The jump attack. All right. Yeah, I've wanted to play around with this one for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and get it. And then we can get more strength. And what's this? Vigorous deflection. Gain stamina or blood warrior. Spawn a health orb after defeating an enemy with a sneak attack. But we don't do sneak attacks. More constitution would be nice. More strength. Yeah, all that would be nice. But we just don't do any sneak attacks. So that's kind of pointless. Athlete, huh? Bash. Strength. Only got five left. Marksman. All damage dealt with ranged weapons increased by 10%. Yeah, that would be worth it. What's this one? Increase zoom. I don't need zoom. So we'll do this. And we'll do this. And that gets us a bit more damage. Counter battery. 50% damage against ranged enemies. That could be good. All ranged damage increased by an additional 20%. Um... I think all at 20 is better. Yep. I know, we're not a very specialized sort of character. But I think I've got some good stuff going. Okay, so we are not as rested as we could be. Oh, I've been playing other games where you just tap shift to run. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing Fallout and Starfield, which both of those are Bethesda, obviously, so they have similar mechanics. And yeah, to run... You just tap the shift, and then you're running. There we go. Just have the most comfort stuff upstairs there. I could have just warped from right there. Alright, we are heading here, so I guess this is going to be a good spot to go to you to start out with. I probably should have grabbed some more health potions, I just realized as I was looking down. Like, um, yeah, six might not be enough, but we'll try it, and we'll see. 
I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We die? <laughs> yep, we're good at that. Well, I'm good at that. I don't know about you guys. I won't speak for you. So it's just right over there, but 200 meters. I don't know if I can make that glide. Yeah, this is where you get the eggs. That's why I left that home there. Although the, the scavengers have eggs too, so you can get the eggs from them as well. But these guys have more eggs because they're the ones who make the eggs. At least from what I can tell, those flying guys. Yeah, and the flying guy in the thumbnail of the last video, he just kind of photobombed while I was trying to do my <laughs> my thumbnail picture. Uh, but yeah, the fight was not all that great. Eh, so I did not include it. Dang it, I was trying to land on there. It didn't work out. Um, what the heck? Oh, location's below. It's down there, is it? Who knew? Yeah, it looks like it's down this hole. In a shrouded area? Can't tell if that's shrouded or not, but my guess is that it is, and I have plenty of shroud potions. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one. Because it lasts almost the whole time that I end up playing anyway. They're good for what, 45 minutes? Yeah, they're about, yeah, 45. And now we're good. And down. Ooh. That's not good. Um. Okay. So I can't see because the light difference. There we go. That's better. All right. What the heck are we looking? Oh, it's still down from here. Okay. Yeah, we are enshrouded, but not completely. Oh, there's a path. Let's follow the path. Usually following the path is a good plan. But it is that away. But it still said it was down. This is an interesting place. The glowy floor. Um, aha! A tunnel of some kind filled with nasty. Yep, I'm on the right arrows. It's not a sickle scythe. So that's good. Hey! You're not allowed to be an archer. I'm the only archer allowed around here. So, what was up with that? Don't know. Some random dudes. Oh yeah, and our body's still there from getting killed by the sickle scythe creature. That thing. I don't like all the pulsating mushrooms. Very disturbing. And, hello? Uh, it's very creepy sort of place. I'm going to get some light out. It didn't help very much, but it helps me feel better. So, oh. It's these guys, the little ones. Don't like the little ones because I can't hit them with a sword or a hammer or anything. Too low. I don't think they even really do much damage, they're just kind of annoying. Is that it? I think that's it. Ooh. Whoa! No, no, no! No, no! Run away! There we go. <laughs> Alright. Get a little better with those guys. Anybody else down here? Gonna pop out of the ground? No. Okay. I'm gonna chop it down then. Yeah, this is a deep hole. I don't like this place. It's got an ominous sort of sense to it. You are blackened staff. Well, it looks cool, but it's kind of useless. Nobody else is here. What is this stuff? Alright, I gotta find out. I don't recognize this stuff. This is... Oh, it is iron. It's just not loaded in. Okay. That makes sense why I don't recognize it then. Uh, I want the extra light. Oh, we're all done here. Yes. So, on to the next, which will be this one. Yeah, set that as a waypoint. But I'm going to real quick pop back to the house because I need some more health potions, I think. Six is not really enough. I use the majority of those. Man, where, was that the sickle scythe? But I'm trying to remember how many of them I used. Where are my friggin' potions at? 
I don't even have that many things. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, do that and that. There we go. 20 should be good. Should I even bother? I've just been kind of throwing everything in random chests because I don't even really care anymore. Yeah, we'll just go there. I didn't even bother finishing this off. Maybe sometime I will. Probably if there's more content dropped. Which I'm sure there will be more content. You know, they've been working on this game quite a bit, I think. I mean, the Hollow Halls had to have been pretty tough to get out that quick after the... Well, it's still in early access, so I don't even know what the release would be called. So it's down there in the yuck. Of course it is. All right, off we go. Into the yuck. Gotta be careful not to fly off the world, though. So it is low, obviously. I don't think there's anything above me at this point. Right there. Anybody here? They are here. But looks like just flowers. And yeah, some critters. Okay. Well, you seem to be aware of me, so I'm going to take you out. And the rest, I don't think really matters. Let's take you down. There we go. We like all the skill points. Well, there was really nothing here, hardly, huh? Just a random beat down castle thing. Or keep, I guess. Ooh, hello. What the heck are you? Oh, you're just a regular dude. There we go. I don't know if the hammer works all that great on him. There. And merciless. We'll do a couple more. There we go. Now you're dead. He was not dead. Looked like he should have been dead. I think my merciless missed because I kept pushing him up the stairs. Um, we want the shroud sack. May as well. We did kill this thing. And give me. And there's this up here. What is this up here? What's all the noises? Yeah, there's one thing in the shroud. All the freaking noises they have. I wonder if it's easier to just bust these doors open with an axe. Or to actually lockpick them. Because I imagine you can just bust them with an axe. What is down there? Bad guy. Do I want to go down and fight him? Not particularly. Do you have any good stuff? Of course you have a shield. Yeah, backstab. No, he's just blocking him. I have to go down and fight him. All right. Hey, buddy. Are you actually going to fight back? Yeah, eventually. He can't even hit me because I'm too low. Well, I can't really hit him either. Come on, let's fight out here. There we go, that's better. Oh no, now he's going down the stairs. Come on. There. Yeah, I always end up doing one more because I can't really tell if they're dead or not. No? Oh, that's all that was here anyway? Just some more shroud time? And a lockpick? Well, that's not very exciting. Alright. Yeah, just a sort of dead place with nasty flowers in it. Okay. And some honeycomb looking stuff? What is all the honeycomb looking stuff? Is this just shroud stuff that I haven't really run into much? My guess is yes. Looks like shroud mushroom things. Are you full of... Yeah, shroud liquid. That's what I thought. And some bad guys over there wandering around. Alright, well, I want to repair my stuff, so I'm going to head back, because I should have done that last time we were back at the house, but I forgot. So we're going to go back there and do that before heading out again. Okay. Yep. Heal that stuff up. There we go. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother. Yeah, I barely picked anything up. 
So the next place it's going to be... Eh. I think it's that one I was on. Yeah. That guy. We got one, two, three, and a sun temple. I think that's it. Unless... I mean, I guess there's some black here that might be explorable. And I think that's just mountains. Same over here. Yeah, the, pretty much the rest of it is just mountains. Let me know if I'm looking over any... or overlooking anything. Looking over, <laughs> like I'm a non-English speaker. Um, yeah. But I do get video blindness, where <laughs> I'm not really seeing everything, I think. Now the question is, which one do we go from? Let's go from the spire. Because it's taller. I like taller. <laughs> then we get to glide in. We could probably have glid glided. Is, is it glided or glid? What is the past tense of glide? Is there a past tense of glide? Has been glide? No, that doesn't work. I did glide. I mean, that kind of works. Okay, we are going to glide. <laughs> Into right here, it would appear. Try and stay out of the river of lava. Location is right there. You are just another shroud root. I kind of figured these are all just remaining shroud roots. Ah! That did not work out the way I wanted it to. Crap! Ah! Oh, they're coming up after me. Ah, I wanted to get away from the flowers. It's having the flowers attack me at the same time as these guys. It's not good. Ooh. That's not good at all. That is, yes, another sickle scythe. Of course it is. What else would it be? Ooh, that worked. <laughs> that was a total accident, too. Crap. You know, we may as well put this on, huh? Are you the sickle scythe, or are you... No, you're not a sickle scythe. There we go. Yeah, that's the trick, I think, is to roll towards them. I don't know if it works with the sickle scythe as well. Hey. You get dead. Okay, so was it not a sickle scythe? They just got kind of a lucky hit off, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this thing going to work on these guys? Yeah, these guys are not... Like, they are pretty tough. Oh, and they move around so much. Why are you moving around so much? There we go. Freaking guys. Alright. Who's left? Definitely critters left somewhere. There's one. Fine, you get an arrow. Alright. Is that everybody from around here? I think it is. There's just a couple flowers. There was another flower, wasn't there? Yes. Right there. That was not the best ground to fight it on. Dang. That stuff takes down your shroud time, too, doesn't it? There we go. Alright, that's everybody, isn't it? It's getting to be nighttime, and there's a red eye. I see it, the explodey critter. Oh, God. That will help. Yes. Okay, so no sickle scythe at this one. That would be kind of mean to put a sickle scythe at just one of these regular ones. I guess there is other stuff around here, but it's too dark. I don't care that much. So I'm going to head home, because we got what we came for. Nope. Somebody saw me, but I'm out. Peace. <laughs> All right. Time to take a nap. Uh, repair weapons and stuff. And put things away. I'll see you guys in the morning. And it's morning. Just like that. So, 
what do we have left? We have one, two, three, and a sun temple. I think that is it, right? It looks like it. Yeah, because we did that one. Did that one. We did all of them but that one. There is all this black over here that could be hiding stuff. So, oh. That's the freaking mine with the sickle scythe, isn't it? Yes. Right? Showed it for a second. Pretty sure, yeah, Ridgeback Mine. That is the mine. That's why I've got that there. I don't know that I want to go there. But we'll go to this one. Although, there's probably going to be a sickle scythe at that one, isn't there? Well, we shall see, I suppose. Oh, I should have grabbed more health. Oh, I only used two health potions. Okay. I thought I used more than that. It wasn't actually a sickle scythe. It just appeared like it could be. Yeah, I didn't know why that wasn't lit. I guess we're the ones that light all the stuff. So, yeah, it's right over towards our body. Because, yeah, <laughs> in the elixir well, there's going to be a sickle scythe there. I just know it because there's one here. There's one at this one. There's going to be one there, I bet. Is there a good place to land over there? Because it's... Yeah, there's like shroud right there. I'm trying to, t to tell what's going on. Yeah, that's all that shroud. So it might almost be better to go over here and around. Because yeah, that's how we got to the last sun temple. There's like a... I don't know, a pathway in between the shroud on both sides. Hmm. I don't really want to fight a sickle scythe, <laughs> you know? I'm going to go to this one instead. There's probably a sickle scythe there, too. Um, probably going to be about the same from here or here, just because of the height difference. But, yeah. Because that one is... Can I see that from up here? I'm trying to think if I can or not. Am I pointing at it? Pretty much? Yeah. So that's down on top of that hill. So with the height difference, it's going to be better to go from here. Have that, at least. And off we head. Man, that is a big old patch of shroud. There are some big patches of shroud. There's this one. There's the one up over... Oh, I don't even remember the names of the places anymore. You know the one I'm talking about. It's like... Over here... Somewhere, yeah, in here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm worried about flying and using the map. I'm gonna end up running into a mountain or something. Yeah, what is this building here? I've not been to this building. So this is new. Oh, this is the Sun Temple, isn't it? What are you? No? You're a nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Are these the ancient places? Because they always talk about the ancients. It's got to be something, right? There's that other one on that peak over by our house. Let me get to this. Yeah. Yeah. Just barely. I knew that was going to hurt, but that was the only way to get down fast enough. Ow. Um, we just ate food, too. All right. We will waste a health potion. I don't know if it's a waste, but we're going to use one anyway. 600 meters still. Yeah, we're not going to be able to fly the whole way. That is unfortunate. We'll fly as far as I can, though. What is that? Just like loading in the shroud. I don't know if you could catch that in the video. They do need to get the, the LOD, I guess, is what it might be. Because... The way games work is it loads in the stuff that you can see, and so, like, if stuff is far away, it loads in a 2D version of it instead of a 3D version of it, in order to save on processing power, obviously. So it is down in the shroud. We're gonna die here. I can already just feel it in my bones. <laughs> can I get on the top of this rock? Eh. Oh, I didn't have enough freaking mana. Like, why am I not updrafting? Because you use mana to updraft, and you don't really pay attention to mana, because I'm not a magic user. So I'm not used to even looking at that bar. 
No, it's only 100 meters. All right. Let's just... Why is my... Oh, I got an extra ring for my stamina. Yep, we're just going gung-ho in. <laughs> my typical style. Just go right here, and then we're not even going to look. I don't care what's here. We're just chopping it down. Whatever's here is going to be easier to fight if there's no shroud. What? Okay. That was anticlimactic. Alright then. There, yeah, there's an archer over there. There's one of those... Is that a sickle scythe? I think that's a sickle scythe. I'm getting out of here. Before she comes for me. Fast travel. Which... Is that... I don't know if that's a sickle scythe or not, but... I'm getting out of there. <laughs> that was the way to do that one, I think. Alright. So we've got... That one and that one. And the Sun Temple. I don't want to go to either of these places. To be totally honest with you. Because there I'm just going to die to the sickle scythe. I've already died like three times to that same sickle scythe. That... There's got to be another sickle scythe there. So, same situation. So let's just hit up this sun temple. Yeah. Seems like a good thing to me. Wait a minute. What's the fastest way to get there? It might be from where we are right now. Because... No, I guess this one is probably closer. Yeah. Alright, well, um, do we need to? Let's just check. That's free, so may as well repair everything. May as well top up uh, what can be topped up, like health potions. And we don't need shroud potions. Oh, I need to start using that, because I've been carrying this around, because I found this in the resource world. I picked these up before, but just never really used it. But I guess that's more of an archer sort of thing. But we do archery, so I'm going to start trying to use it. Although, <laughs> kind of late in the game to be trying to use different things, I think. Because we're basically done with the game. But yeah, we'll just hit up that last sun temple and probably call it a video after that. Um, where the heck is... Is it way over there? That's it, isn't it? It's way over there. Yeah, it's that. You can see it, like, right on top of my helmet. That is it. So... Hmm, I'm trying to think of the best way to get there. From here would be the best, I think. Can we even make it to there? Or is that what we're seeing? No. Yeah, I think that ridge over there is going to be much better. Where, what is that ridge? That's this ridge here. Is there any good way to get there? Not really. We're going to have to run one way or another. So probably we're going to go from this side. Oh, we're going to have to go all the way around because there's no good way to get up there. Is there? We might be able to glide it. No, am I... Where the heck am I pointing? I'm pointing that way, but I'm looking this way. That's the problem. The map pointer points the way your character is pointing, not the way the camera is pointing. Um, yeah, we'll try and get up there. I can always just mine my way up if need be later on. And then, the question is, is the... Yeah, that's not going to be anywhere close to enough to get us up there, is it? Can we at least land halfway up? That would be helpful. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to be mining a bit, and I will see you guys in a moment. All right. There we go. I've gotten fairly good at doing that. Oh, that was not a good place. I was trying to show you guys, but the best way is to kind of zigzag that I've found. Yeah, you can't really tell from here, but you know, you can kind of see two of them. So you, yeah, like from right there where my stamina bar is, there and then you zigzag and then kind of yeah just back and forth like that is the best way to get up that i've found if you can find like a corner of the rock to do it in it's a lot easier obviously this is just scavengers isn't it why is there a road going to a wall is that a road maybe it's an old road uh, are, is this occupied it is why is that wolf standing on an exploding barrel? 
I just have to. <laughs> That's what you get for standing on explosive stuff. It's not my fault. Mm, this was probably the wrong sword. Yeah, a little too powerful. I like eggs. Oh, and we got that guy. Well, we've basically taken this base out. I'm no good at leading people with a bow. You just need to die. There. Can we disarm this? We can. Okay, I thought I saw that pop up various times when I passed by those things. Um, I just want the bone. I don't want your meat. Your meat is crappy. You just had copper arrows. Yeah, I didn't think there was going to be anything that great in here. But this is getting us closer to where I'd like to be. So, this way. And go quickly across the landscape. There we go. The Vuka are my friend. What? Oh, I guess we were barely in some shroud back there. And more Vuka. I like the Vuka lands. Because then I can run, you know, enemies, kite them into the Vuka. And sometimes they help. Not often, but sometimes. Surat's Rest. Yes, that's where we are heading ish. I think. Right? Because this, yeah, that's Surat's Rest. But that is beyond Surat's Rest. I'd rather not go through Surat's Rest if we don't have to. Just because there's a lot of dudes in there to fight. It's going to take a long time. It kind of looks like that's the way you have to go, though, isn't it? Yeah, it sure does. And I didn't like this the first time I had to go through it. But it's, don't, it's like beyond Surat's rest. Is there any way we could just glide over? Like from up here or something? That would be ideal for me. Yeah. Yeah, you can always tell when I'm jumping harder because <laughs> you can hear the um, the keyboard. I try and keep the button pressing quieter. I changed my whole keyboard when I started doing YouTube because, whoops, normally I like to have a mechanical keyboard. And this one is still mechanical. Oh, dang it. Did I just waste one? I tried to click on that. But it's a lot quieter because it's got the red switches. I don't know if you guys know much about keyboards, but there's switches inside mechanical keyboards instead of touch keyboards. Yeah, we're going to have to go in, so let's just go in. And the different switches have a different amount of sound, like, but they also have a different level of precision. So the blue switches are the most precise, but they're also the loudest. And the red switches are the least precise, but they are the quietest. So, if you're going for a mechanical keyboard, that's what you can keep in mind. And brown switches are pretty much the same as red switches, from what I've researched. And green switches are almost the same as blue switches. It's just certain companies like to use different color coding for whatever reason. And this is the way we're supposed to go, and I think this avoids most of the bad stuff. Dang it, I was trying to get on top of that chest. It did not work out, as you could plainly see. Um, it's down there, isn't it? That's my guess. Oh, crap. I thought that was stairs. It was not stairs. Jump over the ladder. Disarm some traps. Does that mean... That is this way, it looks like. They really set the traps out, didn't they? The VUCA, you cannot disarm their traps because they are just pitfalls. <laughs> I don't think there's a way to disarm a pitfall except to expose it, kind of. That kind of disarms it. Ooh. I don't think we can go in the red shroud. So is it up there? Yeah, so this is not the way to get there. It's got to be up on top of there. Yeah, and if we go in there, we're going to die. Why is that all red? Is that somewhere that they're going to include later? Pretty sure all the red shroud is deadly shroud, right? Is this just the end of the world? 
Yeah, pretty much, huh? Okay. So, we need to find a way in from this side. I'm guessing we have to follow along this path. Yeah, we should have gone from over here. Deep cut. Alright. In that case, we'll probably do best from here again. Yeah. Boy, that is red. <laughs> yeah, because this... I know it's way further away, but this is how I got to... Because that is the, the greatest game quest, to go and get that scavenger place over there. So, I'm trying to remember the path I took flying from here. I mean, you can kind of tell I just kind of flew in, like, yeah, into the shroud there, I believe, and then came over. Yeah, so kind of the way I'm pointing should be good. And we'll just get as far as we can, and then you can run through the shroud. It's not too bad. It's thinner than it looks from up here. But we should have just gone from that pillar thing, this thing here. Maybe we can just make it to that again. I guess there's a spot, flat spot down in front of it. Where's that? Oh, there's another thing. Dang it. Oh no, that's the one. That's the mine. Never mind. That's not a new one. That's one we knew about. Well, I knew about. Yeah, it's that over there, isn't it? Where's that? What is that? I don't know. It's it's hard to point. I need a mouse so I can point to things. <laughs> But it is in this direction. So we're going the right way. Ah, get a little bit more height. It doesn't seem to raise you up that much. It's kind of almost like you just go up for a minute, but then you come right back down, it, see it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> just skating along the ground there for a minute. Yeah, I thought it was that up there, but that is a... No, that is it. That's got to be it. Like, that looks like, you know, one of the places where all the NPCs are housed, the temple things that they're in. But that's got to be the Sun Temple. There ain't nothing else around this area, I don't think. Right? Is it safe enough to look at the map? I think it's safe enough to look at the map. Yeah, that's got to be it. Oh, I should probably let my stamina regen a little bit. How is our rested? Our rested bonus is good. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're on the road, which means our stamina lasts longer while running. Those are the guys that have the good meat, but they are really hard to defeat. So... You're a, are you a green dude? No, you're just a regular dude. I don't know who you're yelling for. I don't think anybody's coming. You look pretty alone out here. I was expecting green guy speed. I don't know why. And merciless for you. But I don't know what he was stabbing. What I was stabbing there. <laughs> just get some extra stabs in. Why not? So yeah, he was just all down here. Is there anything he was like guarding? He was guarding this crashed cart? Is there anything even here? No? They had prisoners of some kind? They're dead now. I don't know. A random dude out here by himself. Alright. Mr. Sun Temple. The last of the Sun Temples. There better be something good at the end of this. But I'm not... Yeah, not too hopeful. Because the last one we did in the last episode did not have anything very good at the end of it. Yeah, you figure a nice piece of armor or a weapon or even a staff would be, you know, I'm not a magic user, but at least that would be nice to have something like that. This is a very impressive one for sure. Alright, that means it is, yeah, it's time for a screenshot. So <laughs> give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Just had to get a screenshot. You know how it goes. Good old YouTube. I could, I used to just pick them like when I was back doing the, the Harry Potter game. I don't know if any of you have even watched that. It's older videos on my channel, but I just used to like snapshot part of the video and it worked fairly well because the, the, well, it's not Harry Potter. It's uh, the Hogwarts Legacy games. It's the Harry Potter universe though. So it's kind of a Harry Potter game. But yeah, it doesn't have a photo mode. Neither does this, actually. Oh, well, there's a door over here. Okay, I guess we're just gonna get right into it. I was trying to use this potion, but I guess you can't use these potions while you are lockpicking. Ooh, it's Hollow Halls dudes. They're high-level dudes. 
I guess that's who is at most of the Sun Temples. Damn. I'm not used to these guys at all. Oh man. Yeah, they do the same stuff, huh? Oh, you're the mage one. There we go. How you like that? You don't. That's how you like it. Could you get over here? There. Alright. So can you get the hollow halls stuff outside of the hollow halls? Ooh. This is a complicated one. So you need four. And there's nothing else really in it. Yeah, I know you're a sun temple. Oops, that's not what I was trying to do. Let's try and do this. So it's kind of looking like we have to go other places. Because, yeah, there's this here. This looks very similar to the other Sun Temple. And there's three to get in there. Man, this is complicated. Hmm. There's that. Broken down thing. Can we even get in there? No. Doesn't look like getting back up here is the easiest. So... Oh. Could always cheese it. Maybe. <laughs> There's... Oh. What are you? Some rubble. Are you a cheat way in? Because rubble is usually hiding stuff. I feel like I want to figure out if there's anything hiding in here. They wouldn't put rubble in here for no reason, would they? Okay, so. There is something behind the rubble. Ha! It is a chest. And some sulfur. Eagle eye boots. That's not very impressive. Yep. So definitely if you see some suspicious rubble in places, it is kind of worth digging through it. Man. Alright, I'm going to attempt something because I really don't want to go find all the switches and stuff. So give me one second. I'll be right back. And there we go. So yeah, <laughs> in case you didn't know, if you don't really want to do all the switches, you don't have to. You can just pickaxe your way right through. So we get the Shield of Light. Isn't that the one we already have? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yes, we already have a Shield of Light. This one is exactly the same. Although it's not as damaged. The one we have is damaged because we were using it. And that's what happens. Things. So, yeah. Is this the main one? Or... Looks like the main one. So there's a dude in here with stuff to read on him. Oh, uh, Desert Temple Block. Uh, I don't know. If I'll take the water, I guess. Deserted. Sand fills my throat. My lungs grow heavy with dust. The storm still rages, rages outside, whipping drifts of, to dunes and dunes to dust devils. Oh, how I yearn to feel the cold again. The sapphire coast. Windswept waves glistening in the sun. Children sharing sun. Seared, sun seared yucca in silk hammocks. Torturous memories. Too bright to, be, to hold close. My throat aches. Why did the ancients forsake us all, after all? Um, because the ancients seemed like they were kind of dicks. <laughs> Or else they had no choice. You know, one of those two things. So what is that up there? And it says location below. Oh. So this is not the main one. No, it's not. And how do we get up here? Oh, down here. The stairs were not on the inside. Oh, man. Yeah, this thing is the best. Because... The swords that light up, I mean, they're nice, but they aren't the greatest. So there's no stairs here. Yeah, location below, I see. Um, is there... I guess it was easy to get up from over here. I don't see a way down. There's this over here, which... How do we get up there? climbing thing. Uh, it gives us just enough, doesn't it? So, yeah, do like a flattened area and then... Oh, that's not gonna do it. 
And we can't jump on any of this wall here. Oh. Maybe we can, actually. Uh. Now get up here. There we go. Not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's how I did it. So, is there anything up here? Oh. Aha. And bam. And... Ooh. Whoa. Well, that worked, <laughs> I suppose. It's not exactly how you're supposed to do things, I think, but it, it's how I did them. That's that's how I usually roll. Aha! This is already open. Didn't Oh, never mind. Whoa. Oh, the traps are off at the moment. That's not a good sign. Oh, this is one of the buttons. I see. Is this one of the buttons we bypassed, or is this a different button? We'll push it either way. There's nothing else here, though. Oh, of course. The button activates the traps. Why wouldn't it? I guess we'll go to this one next. This is the one we already went to. This... No, this is a new thing. Ooh. Oh. It's a pattern thing. What happens? I don't know. So... Ooh. This is a serious puzzle. I thought they weren't any good at puzzles. Well, there's this. What does this do? It turns everything on. So now... Oh, I see. We're trying to light up the whole ceiling, are we? Okay. Is that... Okay. So that... I can't really see the problem. That turns everything off. Oh, I see. So you gotta go on the right path. Alright, it's one of those. I think? Nope, that was the wrong one. Now I gotta remember the path. <laughs> Alright, I might just cut most of this out, because this is gonna take a little while probably to figure out. Well, this is as far as I can get, so I'm just going to try and jump from here. Yep, that works. Alright. I don't know how to figure out the rest of it. <laughs> but that, yeah, we'll take an experience scroll, even though we really don't need it at this point. And this one... I'm guessing that's just the three that we needed to enter the building. And I don't think that matters anymore. Of course it's nighttime. And I didn't bring any freaking um, camp stuff with me at all. No, no I did not. And there's probably not any trees of the right type around. These give you palm stuff. I don't think you can make a fire out of palm stuff. There's no furniture of any kind. Yeah. Whoa. What is that? Oh. It lights up the things so you can see them at night. That's interesting. But is that just lighting up these things over here? It is. So that's just to open that. So why did it say location below? Or is it just showing this? I think that's what it is. Because we got the blocks. The sand temple blocks. That's got to be what was supposed to be gotten here. And there's this one. Let me do this one. This is the one we busted into sand sound. Why is it all bright in there? Ow! <laughs> no, this was not the one we were at. Alright, well I want to get through here too, but we're going to get in the easy way. So hang on a second. There we go. Is this just the last one? It is just the last one, isn't it? So where are the buttons to push to get this door open? I don't know. Oh, are they all through here? Like, there's definitely something with that. Like, do you shoot that? That was something. Another one there. So yeah, you gotta do something with those. Oh, and there's ways to get up? Oh, that's to hit that one. So what do those do? Oh, those do light up the things. Okay, so yeah, it's just through those. Alright. Well, I bypassed the whole thing, so <laughs> that's the last Sun Temple. I know it was not done properly, 
but it's kind of boring to see somebody work out puzzles anyway. And yeah, the best way to go through the puzzles in this game is with a pickaxe, of course. So I think on that note, I'm going to end this whole series, unfortunately. But not if, you know, just until there's some more content, because I'm sure there will be more content coming. So I do hope you all enjoyed this series. I will be starting a new series, so don't worry too much. I'm gonna, I haven't decided yet. Let me know in the comments if you'd rather see an archer or a magic user. I'm probably gonna dual, you know, like do magic and bows. But let me know which one you think I should focus on. Otherwise, I'll just decide myself. So yeah, if you did enjoy this, click that like button, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate all my subscribers so much. I can't believe that they're... I know it's, it's still a small channel, but I still can't believe even that many people want to watch my antics. And yeah, I hope you'll join me for the next series. Bye!